Good day to everyone again and here on my farming channel. I am actually into the garden this morning. It's actually Sunday. I'm not too early. It's about maybe 8, 9 about. Um, today is Mother's Day, so I'm looking to do something very great for my mom today. And also, the Mother's Day had fallen on my parents' anniversary, so I decided to give them a nice little treat today. Um, so I have someone walking on that while I'm here into the garden. So what I did today, I actually come uh, I've been giving them some water from since last week, Thursday, I've stopped, I believe Wednesday or Thursday, I've stopped giving them the water, so the photosynthesis can take its time and do its process, so they have like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so it's Sunday morning, three days, and I have to start giving them back some water, okay, so I don't want to overwater them so that it actually depends on the water, but I want to give them the water every twice per week. And when I'm soaking, I'm going to give them an overnight soak. So that's going to stay on for the whole day until I come back tomorrow morning during the half day period and I shut it off. So actually, um, that's what I did today. So I have my cutlets with me. I have my bag with me. I have a hoxer with me. I came out and picked a few pipes. So actually, I'm going to be heading to the hills to get some yam heads. And when I meet a bunch of yamets, I'm going to go a video, I'm going to show you how the yamets look when I take them off and when I cut them up, um, what amount of plants can I get out of one yam head according to how big it is. So, Possums has been digging yam up there lately. It's like an, a yam ground, you could say. It's like a mountainous yam ground. You go there and you sure to find at least five, six, seven yam. You can have a meal for the day. So what they do is some persons dig up the yam, they're so busy they don't plant back the heads. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to go with all the heads, I'm going to leave back a head to continue to recycle. But I am going to actually take as much head as I can get as possible to put into my garden. So that is for it for now. Um, water setting up and I'm going to be heading out right now and I will be back to show you all the yams. And from the yams I'm going to head to my other garden where I have my ships and my goats. And I'm going to take care of them, make the wrong, come back home. So thank you all for watching under my YouTube channel. And I hope you all find this very, very, very creative. So as I said, you can wet your plantings twice per week. Be Monday and Thursday. Whatever day you have the water. Don't drown them with the water. Don't overwater them. Give the, the plant enough time to take sunlight. To do its photosynthesis process. And then when you see that the ground has been dried up, that means the... the the plant had taken enough water and it's actually showing, you know, stability. So then, then you actually turn on your water and you give them another dose of soap, which is going to help them. Okay? And afterwards, you turn off again and then you continue the process. And then if you find you they are not getting enough water, based on twice per week, you can go three times per week, but you can go like day in, day out. So that's what I have to say for now. And I'm going to be heading to the other piece of work. Uh, actually, one more thing I can say before I leave is if you can see this, this is a plant which I actually planted some time ago, right? And the humus really give it a very good process. You see, it starts very early. Um, the mulching area is giving it some, um, keeping the soil and keeping the water and everything. But I'm not too frightened for it because it's a good plant. I uh, took them off with um, roots and I believe the roots is establishing. So if you can watch closely, you can see that this plant is actually ready to come off. Right? I'm not going to force it off. It's going to come off for itself. Look, it got the head right here. Um, I did make way for the head once upon a time. So that's the whole point of when you plant your plants. So after you plant the plant, you don't just leave the plant from the soil as you take it off from the tree or the mother plant um, you want to give it a little stuff okay so what I did I have this big five gallon oil bottle here which actually we got it from our restaurant and I'm using it you can hear there's water in it I pull it up and where I've actually planted the rest of my plantings and figs higher up to the garden I give them a start of water. Um, I want to try to do this every day, but I did this like every three days. So I want to try to do it every morning now, okay? So every morning I want to make sure I get up, 
um, come over here, pull up that, and continue giving them a shot of water every day. And seal there off the ground, and they start sending in the third leaves like this plant there. Then I can minimize the water and focus on getting the water higher up to give everybody a very good way. Okay? So, so far, um, the melon growth is not bad from where I am. It's not bad at all. I do have another piece of garden. I want to put some provisions in it also. And I believe I want to do some melon also. So, the, the, as I said, the garden is right over there. I thought to myself that I could give it a tackle today, but actually, I can't. So, I will have to leave it for later down the week. So, what I plan to do is actually go get my yamhead today, um, change my animals, and get these things on the ground, okay? Finish off with these things, and then afterwards, I can focus on that piece of garden. Because it's not a lot of piece of garden, it's just like, it's just like here, it's just like a little piece of, a little piece of garden. I'm going to put some provisions, have my pipe run closer to the ground over there, so I'm going to take a, a portion of water and I'm going to bring it over there. So I will have a setup to make anyways, so I'm going to have to think because the water is right there and I want to make sure I have it in the right spacing, okay, so that everything should work out fine. So that's it for today. Uh, thank you all for actually coming out to my channel, responding, um, subscribing, everything. I mean, as I said, I don't really big up the subscribing, but if you find it helpful, if you find I'm doing a good job on anything and you want to do it, it's up to you. I lot here for the money, as I said. I'm here to help others, to inspire others who actually love farming and who would like to do it in the future. So you don't have to bother yourself, burden yourself to do farming, but you can do these. Right? Just put some figs, planting, bloggers, whatever you want to plant. Long term crops, dashings, tanias, whatever you think you can handle, whatever you think you can manage as a farmer, you have a piece of land. Don't just let it sit there and just take the bush. If you know if you don't want to plant, you can do livestock, okay? You can just buy an animal. I guess as much as there is persons who work for like thirty, forty dollars per day. Um, maybe by the end of the month you know it's like six hundred dollars, five hundred dollars per month. Um, you can check up with a partner who is actually a good partner of yours and maybe can give you a ship for like two, eight hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. You take that money or if you cannot pay one time, you can say, okay, bro, I can give you 150 now, I can give you 150 again and then until I finish you off. If he agrees, then you want to keep your promise, okay? I'm not going to make anybody feel that you can just take things from persons and don't give them what they deserve for it. Because if it's a partner, sometimes you get a deal. And if you get a deal, then you should be willing to pay that deal as quick as possible because it's a deal you know certain persons don't break their price for no reason but if you get the price break that's good and if you have the piece of plot as i said it's just pushing it um you want to start your life somewhere it starts with something you don't must be farming you don't must be the big bulge of things i didn't have the big old plantings as you've seen i didn't even have those but actually as i continue going i get a partner who can actually give me some plants just as given the plants that's where i take off and i plant off and I Continue the cycle, and just now I'm gonna have more than enough land. So, as I say, you get a piece of land, you have a piece of garden, you have it in bush, you don't wanna do nothing like um, farming, you may wanna do something livestock. Okay, so you buy a ship, you put in it, you make sure you buy a female, okay, because later on you can always get a service and you can build yourself from there. It's not gonna be an investment that you're gonna make a $3,000 one time. But if you give the animal the good caring, um, you'll be there for the animal. You make sure they eat on time. You make sure they have enough feed, and you make sure the service is okay. And you continue reproducing, reproducing. In less than no time, you're gonna have a flock. And then you can say whether you want to kill and sell, or whether I want to sell holes here. And then that partner who give you that ship for 250, then. If you grow your ship at a very, very good size, good rate, you can share your sell your ship for like four fifty for a whole two hundred dollars difference, fifty dollars for you to drink something. And that's just it. So if you actually 
looking to do something with, your, with yourself, you don't find you have what it takes to do a farming or persons might give you ideas that you think that it's just not fitting into your bracket. It's not what you want to do. It's, it's something that you actually don't love doing. You sit down, spend some time as I does, try to think between the lines, you know, what do you love, what you think you can handle, what you find you can actually do that's going to be something great for you. And if actually you find that I want to stick something with like um, doing a product, um, selling spice, taking up spice and sell, um, growing dashings, if that's in your field, um, livestock, poultry, lozering, doing small seedlings, seedling plants for sale, it's a very good business. Persons don't have the time to sow the seeds and actually put them in a the pot, then you can do that. Um, if you want to do other things like jelly water, you want to sell jelly water, you want to bottle it, um, because there's a huge profit in jelly water, you know, a dollar for a jelly. Um, sometimes one jelly, big enough, can give you actually, you know, even if it's one fifty or two dollar for jelly, you can actually get at least one bottle can give you five dollars. Okay, when you take up for your bottles, you may spend fifty dollars on a bottle, you may get over seventy something bottles, sixty something bottles. It's done where you buy it, how much for it? But it sends here, plastic bottle, reusable. You can actually get those bottles for less than nothing. Um, one jelly might pull a bottle or one and a half bottle and you have five dollars there. You have at least maybe two dollars, two seventy five, close to three dollar profit. And as you continue the cycle, you can buy more jellies and you can actually bottle it. You can have sanitary glasses where persons don't want to drink the jelly one time. You just have your sanitary glass you cut, you pour off. Even going later on, you, you get the jelly business going, you, you build up a little style, then you, you want to heave into some smoothies, you want to get some ripe figs, you want to... There's many things you can do to actually have yourself from, like, the idle part of life. Um, you can do something with your life. There is plenty of things that young people can actually get themselves involved in. Um, there is products you can actually make, there is mango stews, there is plum stews, there is actually guava jam. You, you just make the thing professional, you just make the thing look great so that the customers can actually love it. Even if you don't want to hit it a shot one time, you can actually make one, two, three, four. Um, you could just take a few covers, make a small package, do a small packaging, um, go to your friends, tell them you know, what you think. And if they give you very good advice, and you find that, yeah, the advice is very good, um, the motivation is good, um, the inspiration is very nice, then... What more do you want? So actually I have to run again. I have time catching up on me. And I have something to do today for my parents. So actually, I want to start running right now. So thank you all. See you all in the next video. I have to run. Sorry for that. But I'm going to make sure, as I said, to get a video every morning with the things that I'm doing in the garden to show you all, you know, how it's been, what has been the challenges and the advantages and disadvantages. So thank you all. See you all in the next video.